Infertility and difficulty conceiving is a heartbreaking condition affecting thousands of families across the GTA, including those with chronic but manageable diseases. But there are miracle workers that through expertise and care can help turn those impossibles into a reality. That's exactly what Dr. Michelle Halatovich is for thousands of parents and kidney patients. And that's also why she's being honored by her peers today. I remember my doctors telling me that um, I might not be able to have kids. Yay! Yay! Esther Aina was only 31 years old and recently married when she was diagnosed with lupus nephritis and stage four chronic kidney disease. That haunted me for a while because coming from the African background, the kids are everything. So that was really tough. That was in 2012, but today she not only has her kidney disease under control, Esther and her husband are the proud parents of three-year-old Jason and two-month-old Tiara. Dr. Michelle and her team are the reasons why we're parents today. Dr. Michelle, as she's known to her patients, does what many other physicians can't or won't do. Vladovich has helped thousands of women with chronic kidney disease who are on dialysis or who have undergone a transplant become parents. She's this year's College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario Council Award recipient and the namesake for several of the children on her wall. Every woman should have the same opportunities. And if it, some women require extra care and attention to get there, well, that's, that's our job. Baby. Women with later stage kidney disease can have difficulties producing healthy, fertile eggs. And having a child can put stress on already strained kidneys. Having a child on dialysis is not only rare, but risky. You may not have the time to wait, so some of our mothers have chosen to actually do it on dialysis. Dr. Michelle and her team have been so successful that Sunnybrook's program has become a go-to training ground for physicians around the world trying to emulate her success. And our live birth rate in women who are on dialysis in Toronto was in the 80% range compared to sort of 50% 50, 50 range in the U.S. And the huge difference was just how intensively we were dialyzing women. Which means some women on hemodialysis have to undergo daily treatments and are monitored virtually around the clock. And it means people like Esther not only were able to have a family, but to do it safely. I actually didn't think I would be a mom, but I have two. Oh, my God. Head to citynews.ca slash kidney disease to find out the obstacles that kidney disease can pose to pregnancy and to learn more about how people like Dr. Huladovich has helped to beat those odds to create thousands of happy, healthy families. Christina Howard, City News.